Ain't no fun, I'm sorry. Whee! Whee! Ooh. Good girl. All done. <laughs> went to church, went grocery shopping, and I don't know if y'all been watching the lives with Ian and Serena for You Can't Eat the Grass, but they have been making me want to eat an apricot. I've never eaten one. It has been washed. Apparently, we're going to cut it in half. Okay. It's a pit. It's got a pit. It says we can eat the skin. Stop. She's laughing at me. Your face. I don't. I don't know if I like this. It's a petite. I mean, it's a little sweet, but it's not. Uh, maybe a little tartness. Ugh. You got eh, yeah. <laughs> oh, mom. <laughs> like, mom. Would you like a whopper? Would you like? <coughs> no, you, you need some water. water. <laughs> you I need some water. water. Would you like to try an apricot? I don't think I like apricots. And I bought three of them. And I just knew I'd like it because they made it look so good. I'll let my husband eat them. Mm. Meanwhile, let's talk about what seeds we're starting because it is time to start seeds for fall transplant. Oh my God, it's time. Let's go see what seeds I'm going to start. I'm not even sure. I know for sure I'm going to start some foxglove. And that seeds up here. <laughs> I got seeds down here. I got seeds right there. I still have lilies in there that I never planted. Did I just pull up my refrigerator shelf with all the stuff? Yes, I did. So I definitely know I want to start status pretty soon. And it would probably help if I put all these in order. Hey, Neela. So, I epically failed with Campania or Bellflower Canterbury Bell last year. Um, I didn't get it planted out soon enough at all. And I had really bad germination. So we're going all out this year. And that's definitely be one I start today. And you know, if the germination's low, I've got time to start more seeds. Apparently I ordered more Campanula. This, this is gonna be my year for Campanula. I've got mediums, I've got doubles, I've got all sorts of colors. <laughs> uh, apparently when I did my fall order, <laughs> I really decided I was going for it with these whole season flowers this <laughs> year. How many delphiniums did you order, Jesse? More, more delphinium. I, I don't know why I have so much delphinium. More Campanula. Why did I think I needed this many varieties? <laughs> I don't need this many varieties. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> Let's go see if we can find some seed starting trays. Okay. I've got everything I needed. Yes, I am in my living room. No shame, it's too hot out there to be doing it. And honestly, I like to watch TV while I start seeds. All the delphinium varieties, I ordered one, two, 16. 16 different kinds of uh, delphinium. Some of them are the same variety, just different colors. So 12 different kinds of campanula. And some other stuff I'm gonna go ahead and start today, including foxgloves, some eucalyptus, and things. My little seed sorting jar that Penny with Farms and Stables sent me, which makes it very helpful. My humidity domes, my plug trays, everything. Hopefully, we will see how these do together and maybe I'll have some transplants ready by October. That is the plan. Everything I'm starting today is hopefully going in the ground in October. I would like to take this time to thank Rooted Ivy Flower Farm. Colorado Tulips and Sarah Ford for the super thanks on my previous videos. I appreciate it so much. You are helping me pay for all these fall bulbs that the invoices are about to start rolling in for. Yeah. <laughs> Hope that was caught on camera.
no, good lord. Can we talk about the colors of these? Oh, this is the Benary wine, I believe. And gosh, look how pretty. Some people at the market ask me or tell me, they go, you must have just a table full of flowers all the time. It's a beautiful vase of them. And I'm like, I know, I actually don't hardly ever have flowers on my table that are for me. Uh, these are all normally, you know, cut just for the farmer's market and that's it. And that's okay because I enjoy cutting and putting them together and watching other people enjoy my flowers. While the flowers are resting, before I put them in a bouquet for mom, maybe we come back here and see if we've got any germination yet on those seeds that we started last Sunday. Let's see. All right, kiwi blue. We've got germination right there. We've got small germination. This is the foxglove. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there's little green specks. So there is germination. Eucalyptus, nothing yet. The uh, bellflowers, nothing yet. <laughs> I think this is the delphinium, and nothing. <laughs> it's still pretty early, so I'm not surprised there's not a whole lot of germination happening yet, since it's only been six days. But the fact I've got one or two already springing forth is very encouraging. Um, just want to say this is a grow light shelf from gardeners.com. Not sponsored, but I do have a video on putting this together and a review on it. If you're interested in checking that out, I'll put a video for it below in the description. My kitchen is a complete disaster right now. And that's okay. I don't feel like dealing with it. But let's put something together for mom. I want to give her a little bit of everything. I've got this gladiola, which will be beautiful when it blooms out. It's a doubled, ruffled, light yellow one. I mean, honestly, my favorite flower last year and this year has got to be the brain. I just, I love these Chief Solosa coxcomb flowers. They just, they look like a brain. And I love it. My customers love it. They're like, that is just so unique looking. I'm like, I know, they're just great. Mother shall have all the flowers, all the flowers for mom. Well, this is just so much fun. You know, we can go all out on a bouquet and you just add so much stuff to it. It's like, give me all the flowers. You are so beautiful to me. Just a nice rainbow of colors. Nothing's too good for mom. So let's go take a tour. Go wish mom a happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear mama. Happy birthday to you. Oh, you're so sweet. I got you flowers. Oh, they're beautiful. Thank you. You like them? I love them. If y'all enjoyed this video, then I have no doubt that you will enjoy my Dahlia video where I had some issues. Click on it right here, and I will see y'all there.